Hi dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the finest and important problem that should be asked along with the 8 marks questions in the chapter of oscillations that is related to our intermediate fast wave physics. So this is a very important problem. Children, if you want to gain 60 by 60 or if you want to pass compulsory, then focus the problems which will give along with the 8 marks questions. Let's go further here. One important problem is this is the most important children. What is the length of a simple pendulum which takes seconds? So which takes seconds means nothing but he was talking about the second pendulum. He was talking about the second pendulum. What is mean by second pendulum? Yes, it will take to complete the time period in seconds. Okay man. So children here, what you will find out? We want to find out the length of the second pendulum. Length of the second pendulum. For that, how we can calculate? Simply here it is there. T is equals to 2 pi into 100 of L by G. This is the time period of the simple pendulum. What is time period of the simple pendulum? So now we are squaring on both sides. What we get? T square is equals to 2 pi into under root of L by G whole square. Then what we get? T square is equals to 4 pi square into L by G. Clear. So here which takes second which takes second means what? It is second pendulum. Second pendulum means the time period of the second pendulum must be 2 seconds. For second pendulum time period is what? As 2 seconds. 2 seconds. Then only it is called second pendulum. Clear. The pendulum which can complete the one oscillation in 2 seconds. That is what we call second pendulum. That's why here T is equal to what? 2. 2 square is equal to 4 pi square into L by G. 2 square is what children? 4. 4 into 4 pi square into L by G. G value is what children? What we know G is equal to 9.8 meter per second square we have. That's why here 4 4 cancel. And what right now here? What right? So 4 pi square. This is the pi square. 1 is equal to pi square into L by 9.8. Then what we get L is equal to 1 by 9.8 by pi square. 9.8 by pi square. 9, 1 into 9.8, 9.8 by pi square. So L is equals to 9.8 by 3.14 whole square. So L is equals to 9.8 by 3.14 into 3.14. So its value children nothing but here 9.8596. So then obviously we are reading the value by dividing that one we are reading. So 0.99 meters we will get. That means here what right? L is equals to approximately here that is 1 meter. So L value is what? 1 meter. So here length of the pendulum is 1 meter and if it is covered into centimeters what is? 100 centimeters. So children now what is the length of the second pendulum? 1 meter. When we are taken in SI it is 1 meter. If we can take in CGS that is 100 centimeters. So this is similar about the length of the simple pendulum. So when we have idea about the second pendulum definition and its value, then only this problem is possible. Okay, children. If you can like it, if you understand this one, like it, share it, and comment it. Okay. If you want to get the all the notifications, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Take care.